And now, a tale of two Americas. That's the focus of tonight's angle. Now, one of Joe Biden's main selling points during the 2020 campaign was that, unlike Trump, he had empathy for all Americans, especially those who were struggling. Joe Biden uh, is a fighter for the middle class. Joe Biden has a plan to put Americans back to work. This is what Democrats care about, providing support for American families who are struggling. Voters were telling me, I really think Joe Biden cares about me. Of course, that was all a lie. He's only been in office for three weeks, but already under his anti-business policies, like the halting of the Keystone Pipeline, many of our fellow Americans are being made to suffer. Now think about the people of Falk, Arkansas, who until Biden came along were grateful to have good paying jobs with the pipeline project. Their incomes not only meant that they could feed their families, but also build their futures. Well, Biden completely upended their lives with the stroke of a pen. It's hard to make plans when you've got an administration that's trying to crush your future. This was going to be your family home for you and your three boys. Now I'm without a job. Now, you're not, now you don't have a job. Senseless. My husband, Macaulay Knight, and I, we were both going to be able to have the opportunity to go work on the Keystone. To have that future just completely taken away just by one signature. Our youngest daughter is a junior in high school, and she's supposed to be going to college, too. And I don't know how I'm going to pay for it. It's absolutely heartbreaking. Biden's keystone decision alone will kill an estimated 11,000 jobs this year. But don't worry, America. All those brand new green jobs Biden promised you are coming any day now, I'm sure. Why is it that the Biden administration is going to let the thousands of uh, fossil fuel industry workers out of work or will soon be out of work because of a Biden EO uh, when it is and where it is that they can go for their green job? Well, I'd certainly welcome you to present your data of all the thousands and thousands of people who uh, won't be getting a green job. Maybe next time you're here, you can present that. Oh, Jen, is that the empathy we were promised in the Biden White House? On just this one issue of Keystone, thousands are now frantically worrying about how they're going to pay their bills. The Biden's team doesn't give a rat's you know what about them. But we know what Biden and his handlers do care about catering to their rich donors and enriching their sleazy family members. Compare the fortunes of the Keystone families to Joe's son, Hunter. Well, the Keystone workers have work experience and relevant skills. But Hunter, with zero talent or relevant skills, was paid millions to sit on the board of Burisma while his dad spearheaded Obama's Ukraine efforts. He cashed in on the Biden name, which he readily admitted. If your last name wasn't Biden, do you think you would have been asked to be on the board of Burisma? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. I, I don't think that there's a lot of things that would have happened in my life that, uh, that if my last name wasn't Biden. Well, how lucrative is, is it to be a Biden? Well, lucrative enough to pay for a $25,000 a month luxury home rental in Venice, California. No sign that he... In fact, he's so brazen about not being held accountable for his business dealings that he remains heavily invested in a joint venture with companies owned by the Chinese Communist Party. Are we supposed to feel better, though, because he's now working to unwind his business relationship with America's most powerful global adversary? Now, imagine if this is one of the Trump kids. You know what the reaction would be. Well, I'm sure we'll have all these questions answered, answered though, in Hunter's new memoir. He just landed a $2 million advance for a new book deal with Simon & Schuster. Do you think one of those Keystone workers could land a book deal for a fraction of that advance? Of course not. By the way, Joe's brother Frank is living large too. He's literally using his close relationship with his brother to drum up clients in a newspaper ad. The two Biden brothers have long held a commitment to, to pushing environmental issues. My brother is a model for how to go about doing his work. And the ad very subtly references the Biden reputation. Oh, God. Now, even the president's son-in-law is trying to leverage the Biden name on the COVID issue, no less. Unbelievable. Well, Biden should launch another 100-day challenge. I just came up with this. I ask all Americans to name a Biden family member who isn't somehow compromised. Well, this country and this government 
are supposed to belong to the American people, all the people. Remember that language from the Gettysburg Address? Government of, by, and for the people? Not just the well-connected people, not the rich people, not the people with supporters in the media, not the people with connections to foreign dictators. No, all the people. The Trump administration fought for the sort of people who worked on the Keystone Pipeline. But to Joe Biden and his team, most Americans are racists who are destroying the planet. To the Biden team, our working people are disposable and dispensable. Meanwhile, the folks with connections, they're buried in Benjamins. Under the Biden administration, the privileged few, Biden's family, Wall Street plutocrats, big tech billionaires, and hard left special interest groups like BLM, they're gonna get paid big. That's not compassionate, it's not caring, it's cruel cronyism and heartless indifference to the working people of this country. Sadly, this is what Americans voted for last November. This is what Georgians voted for in January. And until we can vote again, this is what we're gonna get. A tale of two societies, of average Americans scrambling to stay afloat while the elites, such as Biden's friends and family, enjoy the high life. But we get to vote again in less than two years. And the more Americans watch this two-tiered economy, the less they're gonna like it. And that's the angle.